So the other Tony Ponytail player, Ollie Banks. Mandeville lets the ball run on nicely. He's done well there. Could be an interesting through ball there. And Griggs on to it. And uh, I think he shot actually. I'm uh, not sure whether Ross saved it or whether in fact De Havilland blocked it. I think it was Ross's foot. Just my, got there uh, in time, but uh, my gut instinct. Open nice up there. interplay, nice interplay. It was Michael Jacobs who was very influential in that move, and Greg yeah. managed to get what well, I think would be known as goal side. But uh, good defence by Maynard, but they conceded the first corner. It's a long season. His time will come. Got to keep working hard, and uh, as I say, with Reese in behind him, that may free up some room. And the two wingers, Mitchell Lawson and. Uh, and there's Reece Smith on the ball now. Nice control in front of Mandeville. Gets past him beautifully. Well done, Reece. Good ball. Left footy cross in and just flicked over the bar there, well I done. think. Is that Mitchell Lawson, Mitchell Lawson goal yeah. coming in there. He's also looking for his first goal of the season. This was the number frustration. Four. Sorry, frustration. Sorry, sorry, Tom Naylor, number four. I was trying to define who the number four was. Couldn't <laughs> find him. Banks very influential at the ball. moment. That's a good ball out wide. Just a field attacking. Checking inside, gets the Fine. cross in. Yeah. One of those where just for a moment you wonder if it was going to loop over Craig Ross's head into the far corner, but in the end it goes uh, over the bar and goal kick for uh, Maynard United. Just trying to see who that was on the far side. Who? Uh, it's Dobber, is it? Is that Dobber on the ball there? Yes, it was. Banks gets his head on the ball and Jacobs Carnley gives it to Mandeville. Ooh. Oh, not a good ball. Smith onto it. So that's the penalty area. Will Smith have a shot? And it's blocked. Right in front of the T-bar. Azare looks like he's onside, but tucked in right by the corner flag. With Colclough for company. Win. And Naylor. He's done and well. There. He's done very well. Deliver. Cross in. Heading clear by Grimes. Oh, but fast. not a good header. He's found Mitchell Lawson. Mitchell Lawson to the byline. Pulls the ball across. Yes. Yeah! And it's good! I think it's to Sho Toby Show Silver. It's Toby Show Silver with their first goal for just over seven hours of football. And it really started with a header by Captain uh, Jamie Grimes. It looked very convincing, but it was totally misplaced. And Lawson uh, Mitchell Lawson showed that attacking instinct that uh, we've been talking about. Low crossover, and Toby Show Silver with his first goal for the club couldn't really miss. That's but it doesn't matter. I don't care, if, well, made no fans, you won't care if it came off his shin, his backside. We've had half an hour here at York Road, and it's the home team in the league, Man United 1, Chesterfield 0. Good defending by the youngster from Oxford United on loan, but danger is not passed. Will Grigg on the ball. Oh, it's fallen well, it nicely to him. That's unfortunate. Oh, and uh, it was Dobra who turned us out. A fortunate ricochet yeah. there. It was... Uh, no fault with Charlie Adams, it was a good clearance, but yeah. uh, not sure who it hit, but it fell nicely to Dubbro, who shot on target, but uh, straight at Craig Ross, and uh, Craig Ross made sure that uh, not only the ball not go in the net, but he didn't let go of the ball, because uh, any ricochet could have easily have fallen to a Chesterfield player. Number four. I keep forgetting number four, don't know Tom why. Naylor. Tom Naylor. Why do I keep forgetting his name? a good ball to Frackleton on the far side That's ball good. inside to Cole Clough De Havilland's got to be careful and Golding does well to get the ball away from Will Grigg as well again doesn't he, he's won that battle so far long way to Bounce. go, that's a good ball's offside it's, uh... I'm glad he spotted the flag there yeah. because it looked like Mandeville had uh, sneaked round the back, right, yeah. ready to uh, just lob the ball over Ross for his fifth goal of the season but uh, Banks uh, didn't uh, spot the fact that he'd gone a bit too early and the ball is uh, going to be a free kick to Maynard United as we come into the last minute of the first half. Frackleton on the far side. Back to Jacobs. Well done, Toby. Toby, Toby no, he didn't. He man. set it up for Jacobs. Colclough just has had the deed. He thought he might have been fouled there, there yeah. but he decided to stay on his feet. Good shot by Banks, but... Uh, we had the right angle for that because it was always going wide. But a good snapshot there, Barley Banks. He's had a good first half. He has. And uh, I don't Ross want went that. down. But yeah. fortunately, it was one of those where I think another angle would have been worried about it. But uh, yeah. from this angle, we could see the ball was always going wide. And in fact, Ross... I can hear the dulcet tones of Alan Devonshire disagreeing with that decision. Um, hope he wasn't picked up by the uh, microphones because <laughs> I imagine that uh, he wasn't going to be very complimentary about that. I switched off a little bit there, Keith, so I can offer nothing. 
Again, there's Taylor a thing about delaying the Jacobs. restart. Here we go. Gets the ball across, Ooh. and uh, that was a very, very good interception there by uh, Golding. Again. Greek was just about to uh, just uh, slide the ball across, I think, to the far post, and Golding came in with a really strong interception. So well as the youngster, he had a really good game on Tuesday on debut, and he's uh, kept those same impressive standards up. a very impressive young player, James Golding. Clearly no panic, is there? They're playing their football. They're playing their football, just hear the wind uh, whistling as well, just getting up a little bit. One, two touch stuff. They know that something will come, so Maidenhead can defend it, and whether they can finish it. Thanks. Trying to the ball. the ball through, they're peeling for offside, he's not being given, Mandeville. Goal. Because that's good goal there on number 10. Good finish. Michael Jacobs. I think Neil called that before the ball was even in the back of the net. He curled that one well, good curling shot there by Michael Jacobs. Second goal of the season, the summer signing from Pompey. 58-59 minutes gone. And it's the equaliser for Chesterfield. Made in United one, Chesterfield one. Promising young goalkeeper on a season loan from Everton. And a long ball finds Will oh, Grigg no clear. Grigg, oh. oh, tries to lob Ross. And Ross stood tall and did well there. But Maiden had so quickly caught out there, Neil. How was he allowed to run in behind there? He got away with one there. Just, you know, in terms of turning the game on its head. That was a guilt edge chance. They've had four goals for Will Grigg this season. I think he'll be thinking he really should have made that five. Another corner for Chesterfield, corner number eight. You see Williams and Grimes lining up, one behind the other. Although they break away now. Grimes with a header Ooh. and uh, goes through a group of players and that should go out for a goal kick. But uh, every time they do a long corner, Neil, and uh, he's heading for the header of, Ashley, of uh, Jamie Grimes. Only one outcome, Grimes winning every header. He's winning every header, yeah. Um, we need to avoid giving away those corners. As you say, there's eight of them so far that we've seen our way through. Um, so they've made out a bit of a small team, but maybe a bit of extra height in there. Adams with a free kick, curling it. Keep it as well. Beckwith couldn't quite keep it into the shot, but Nathaniel George going to get the ball back from him. Ooh. Turns well. They'll have a shot. Right foot shot. Oh. Just what well, one. Oh, good save. Great save. Excellent save. That was heading for the top corner. Excellent shot by Sam Beckwith. It'll be slightly weaker foot there. Yep. Good effort. He's not scored for us yet, as Sam. That was uh, a good piece of goalkeeping. Good stuff from United. With a corner. That was an exceptionally good save <coughs> there by Tara because I thought it was going wide, but you could see from the angle that yep. he actually saved that. Going yep. in for the top corner. A bit of nonsense going on now in the area. Casey Petit is uh, one uh, who's attracted the referee's attention. Interesting. Players in the six yard box, players outside. Quite a gap there in the middle. Let's see what uh, Adams does with this corner. Made in the sixth corner of the match. Oh, how frustrating. Oh, that was best. very frustrating because the chance for Chesterfield to break a pace and the Zara has got to be careful. He's got. On the far side, Colclough to deal with. Well, don't give away a free kick. Just jockey him there. Oh, well, he's got the ball back to Dobra. Yeah. Dobra oh. tried to feed it through to Colclough. Oh, no, 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 That's no, no. That's not very good play there. Referee waves away what I think was a... A shout, That was it? very poor defending, and I think well, the referee giving that as a penalty, I don't think I would have complained too much there. Greg. Paul Cook is livid. I think they're... Paul Cook is livid. I think uh, referee Richardson, I think if there was uh, VAR here, I think they'll be uh, telling him to go and have a look at the screen personally. Beckwith, so close to scoring just now. Nathaniel George, weaving his way round. Beckwith will pick up the loose ball. Early cross, oh, Simba. Oh. Simba will turn. Oh, what a save by Tyra. Good clearance by Reece Smith, who's having to do some defending at the moment, and more defending now as uh, Berry's first touch is to try and get the ball past. Oh, oh that was not. No. I am surprised at that. I thought to... he's obviously decided that uh, yeah. Berry dived. He went to ground. Berry, Quite first easy, contribution. Didn't he? Um, to go straight into the referee's notebook. I think there'll be people. Watching that with a uh, 
Back to the free kick for Adams to take. Free header oh, the far post. A free header there. A good size, nice, but we nice ball by Berry to Banks. I've not much influence so far in this half, Banks, but that's a, a nice ball there. Jacobs with a low cross in. Oh, it's not the not place a good header. Berry will try and chip it round. Mm. Need to be a bit to careful it. there, maybe. It was a poor header by Will de Havilland and uh, yeah. snapshot there by Berry. You can see what he's trying to do. Yeah, well, few. referee Richardson still wants the game to carry on. But I think he's going to yeah. put the whistle to his mouth now. There's the final whistle. Final whistle here at uh, York Road. Finish May 1991, Chesterfield 1.